Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about column from examples. If you are visiting first time to our channel then please hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. So let's get started. Columns from example. If this is a powerful tool in Microsoft Power Query Editor that you want to convert the column to the specified format of our wish, you can do it without any hassle, without writing any kind of tax code or without any formatting. It's just the input from our side and it does the web job by itself. So let's do it in practical. For that, you need to go to Home tab and then Edit Queries. It will open up the Power Query Editor. And if you go to add column on the tab, on the left side you see this column from example. If you click on this small down arrow, it will open up this one from all columns or from selection. I will go through all these things. First of all, we'll go to this one from selection. I have this table, order table, and I want to convert this order list to only two digits here instead of four digits here. I don't have this option to do it in the formatting tab itself. If you go to this one and if I click on the orders table and order date, you go to modern tab in the date format, it doesn't have the option of two digits of day, three of month and two of year. Even I have made a video about this, how you can convert a uh, customized format. If you haven't seen that, you can just click on the link given on top of your screen and custom formatting in Power BI. You can go that way or you can use this option, columns from example. I will just right click this column. You can select add column from examples or you can select this column you can do it from selection. It will both give you the same result. It will create a new column and in that column, you just need to type the value. If you double click on that, it will give you samples based on the column data type. The column is date, right? So it just open up the window here. Here's the default one. If you haven't found the specific format, what you wish for, so just type it on 30 O C T right O C T and 17. Just enter. So it has not understand what you are exactly looking for. For that again, you need to click one more column. 30 and O V 17. Enter. Boom. To make it better understand, you can type three or four columns here. And see here, this is three September 17, but actually I need zero three. So you just need to double click on that, type zero three, and then enter. So notice this one eight, three, and eight. So click enter. It just changed to everything. You double click on the column name, you can type order day custom. And then OK. It just create one more column with the value what you have specified. If you go to the right side in the query settings, added custom column. If you click on this gear icon, It will open up the tax formula. So we don't need to remember the tax calculation and that formula if you use this option to format the columns. So this is the date column. Now I want to go to the string option. So right click on that, add column from example. So 
so for california if i double click it gives me the two options available either i can use the length or you can use the default one so i want to use ca and enter so it doesn't understand actually what i'm looking for so for census i just want to type pe now it understand that i need uh, only the two digit the first two digit is but actually i don't need that so i need a new york i want to type n y so it doesn't understand what exactly i'm looking for so i just want to correct one more time now to understand what exactly i'm looking for just have a look at the values if it doesn't match you can need to change it manually from the customer id if you want to extract something you can, you can do that so i'm just right click on that and click on add column from example so you have jk hyphen one five two zero five so if you need only the numbers from this you can type it one five two zero five enter so it brings up only the numbers it extracts only the numbers from the customer id column how cool is this right oh if you want only the character that is jk from that even you can type that jk and enter it filters exactly what you're looking for from that column even in the first item itself sometimes it may not understand your input what you're actually looking for so you may need to type three or four rows to help the power query editor to better understand what actually you're looking for so now we have covered the date and uh, text function now we will have a look at the I mean, numeric uh, format look this is uh, sales right so i just right click on that and then add column from example so these are the options given by default actually i need uh, to be 7.42 two digit itself so it doesn't understand what actually i'm looking for because the first one is the same second one just typing in my 8.9 or enter so it gives me only the two digits and here it doesn't understand what actually i'm looking for so i need to make a change here 3152 and 109.69 so now it gives you better result even if you want to add uh, even if you want to add percentage something like that this one percentage is there right so I just right click on that and then click on add column from example Looking on that, it gives me this detail. Sorry, I've entered the wrong value. So zero percentage, and then it is two percentage. If you have some other value, even I can do that. No, it already picked up what actually I'm looking for. It's so smart that with these one or two options, it just picks up everything. So this example is from selection and there's one more option from all columns so I'm just clicking on this one the difference between these two is from selection means it just gets the value of the selected column if it is from all selection means it just gets the value from all the table so for example I want to add a city state and a country I just type United States and Francisco and State California. There's three columns are there. Just click enter three column values and then enter. It is so smart that it automatically picks up that I am using these three columns in one column. And so there's a match column here. Okay, and if you want to add the postal code, you can do that. Just type in hyphen 94122. Enter. This is the picture of what actually I'm looking for. 
not only the sequence if you want to add uh, the in between column like the shipment mode i want to add uh, standard class standard class this picks up what actually i'm looking for and here if you want to use same day not only that if you want to uh, merge two columns you can even do that i'm just clicking on columns from example and from all columns so i just want to type and Francisco, sorry, and Francisco bracket yes. It gives me exactly what I'm looking for. Even I can do that. California, California, and Francisco. Next one is so it picks up what actually I'm looking for. So I am New York City. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries, feedback, and comment, and if you want to have any custom video of your choice, just also post on the comment section below i will make this video in the upcoming days if you are building first time to my channel please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your device thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video